for more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. A political realignment has been completed in Kenya. The current president Uhuru Kenyatta and his former arch-rival Raila Odinga are officially allies. Odinga is set to contest the presidential election which will be held in August. Meanwhile, William Ruto, who Kenyatta had earlier declared his successor, has been expelled from the latter's Jubilee party. Kenyatta and Odinga have contested against each other several times in the past and each time has been followed by violence. What explains the coming together of these former rivals? And what does the political situation in Kenya look like now? Bukar Omole of the Communist Party of Kenya talks about some of these issues. This is not unprecedented in our politics, especially in Kenya, and particularly where we have, um, of course, differences between Comprado bourgeoisie and uh, what you call the nationalist bourgeoisie, that at times they try to form alliances and also uh, you know, uh, sometimes they pretend to be antagonistic. But what we can say is that the difference between um, uh, Mr. Raela and um, uh, Mr. Kenyatta, uh, both of them, we could qualify them as only comprado bourgeoisie here. There are differences, a uh, bit in personality, or there are differences in terms of the political formations that they have formulated before. They are, they are different only, we could say, in form, but in terms of essence and content, uh, they are the same people. In fact, uh, they drive divisive agenda when it favors their political interest or their class political interest. So uh, when they are facing the polls, for example, if you look at the history of the last two elections, where uh, uh, Mr. Kenyatta has, um, you know, been pronounced as the winner, and then Raela contested the results. There are a few nasty things that happens in our country because when that happens, then there is a drive of violence, and and that violence is majorly sponsored by either the private militia that is run by the opposition or the, the other side is basically the police or uh, the government thugs. Uh, then we have a few people being slaughtered or sacrificed. And then um, there is a pronunciation where they do a handshake and then they try to find uh, some center ground for them to share you know, government. And that has taken place um, now for the last, uh, let us say 20 years in our country where the opposition and the people in government are basically capitalists, you know, and uh, they are, when they are approaching elections, they compete in bad-mouthing each other. They call each other, you know, you are corrupt. And the other person says you are more corrupt. And then when, they're in, when the other person is in, 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 in government, the same thing still happens, yes. But if you look at the current situation in, in our country, then you will realize that the only political party that has stayed away from, you know, from that kind of uh, marriage between uh, um, two people that actually are fighting for their individual interest and they're using their, uh, their, their, two, their two most uh, you know, uh, tools, uh, one of them is money, and the second one, of course, is tribal mobilization. And then they have the media, you know, to deliver that kind of, uh, you know, lethal propaganda against the people. But the Communist Party of Kenya, of course, where I serve as the National Organizing Secretary, the Vice Chairperson, has been addressing those issues from below. And in fact, there is a lot of pressure from the Kenyan population that our politics should take, uh, you know, not just a class character, but she will be informed by certain political ideas. And we should be having a battle of ideas other than having a competition based on tribal arrangement or individual uh, self-interest. So we don't expect any change, even after you know, Raila and Uhuru you know, come together, because they are there to defend certain interests. And uh, a day ago, we saw the former first lady, Mamangina, who is the president, uh, the, the, the mother to the president now, 
going on a national broadcast and telling the Kenyan people that he indeed support uh, you know, Raela's uh, presidency at the moment. So if we look at it by and large, what we could probably just say that there are two uh, people you know, representing the same class interest and they have no agenda you know, to drive uh, uh, any progressive uh, development on behalf of the Kenyan poor or the masses. What interests do the Kenyatta Odinga combined represent? What kind of policy frameworks are they likely to implement if they continue to remain in power? And what is their economic philosophy? In fact, um, if you remember uh, a few months ago, the president of Kenya and the closest family members were well, the people who are mentioned in, the, in, in what you call the Panama Papers. And that means what they have been doing is to, you know, say that they are building confidence in the Kenyan economy. But indeed, they are, um, you know, they are the people who are facilitating the capital flight from the country to try and hide them, you know, just in case they are out of power. But what kind of representation are we going to see? Of course, you're going to see Kenya going to be entrenched even much further into the global capitalist system. And uh, there will be a neo-colonial uh, rule uh, that will be fathered by the two, um, of course, to advance their class interest. And the class they represent, of course, is the national bourgeoisie by and large, because um, Mr. Kenyatta owns a few uh, businesses, but uh, those businesses are actually brokerage on behalf of multinationals who own quite a bit of shares in them. So uh, the, the class that uh, we can see that pretend to actually, you know, compete for political power only comes from the Comprado bourgeoisie and the national bourgeoisie. And their own differences are actually, they reconcile them by, you know, sacrificing a few poor people uh, in the name of uh, trying to compete among themselves. So we, we don't have um, any hopes about it. In fact, uh, their rhetoric, because they're they are trying to, to, to merge up and say that now they are going to advance what is called a, a state welfareism. In fact, um, they are promising young Kenyan people that they will be giving them 6,000 shillings uh, for the unemployed. But the truth of the matter is they do not know, they do not have any single intention to advance any state wel welfareism that can be able to ameliorate the, uh, the lives of the poor uh, Kenyan people. And finally, what alternative vision for the country does the left, especially the Communist Party of Kenya, present to the people? What is the agenda and the demands that they're taking to the people ahead of the elections? Um, first of all, we, in, in, in terms of constitutional issues, we are um, actively involved in the parliamentary you know, processes because um, we, we are informed that within, uh, even within the neocolonial system, we can still fight for certain reforms uh, through the parliament to try and improve the lives of the poor people. So we have published a minimum program for participating in these general and parliamentary elections. And what we want to do is to drive an ag a people's agenda from below and put much more pressure from the establishment to, you know, to be able to uh, implement certain reforms, even within the neo-colonial state. Because remember last um, year, if it were not for the Communist Party of Kenya and other progressive uh, people that were united, we would have not uh, stopped a total obli uh, you know, obliteration of our constitution, the, the 2010 constitution. So the Communist Party is pushing a pro-people's agenda from below to try and determine the national political discourse and also fielding candidates in the parliament to be able to not carry out just representation, but also do oversight and legislation role within the bourgeois demo democracy that um, uh, we currently have. But even, even if we do that, we will also want to, you know, take advantage of this political moment when the people are, uh, you know, highly, uh, you, you know, activated politically to drive our propaganda work and try to bring a different, um, you know, ideas around the populist ideas that is being advanced by the bourgeois political parties being led by the opposition, the so-called opposition, and now the president against his deputy. So we have published a program 
and we we are hoping that we got real chances and we're working towards uh, you know winning those political seats and also directly participating in um in the campaign discourse that will end in um in august um uh, this year you know 20, uh, 2022 but we are also making people ready that even though this main these main political protagonists that are pretending only to be, you know, pretending to be protagonists are actually one and the same. And um, we are warning them that in the event that the election is done and uh, there is a violence that is, uh, you know, intense, it's intention to, to sacrifice the poor people on behalf of only a few, you know, insignificant rich people that run our country's politics, then the Communist Party of Kenya will reject such processes just like we have done before with um, the now defunct um, BBI that was mooted by Mr. Kenyatta and Mr. Odinga at that time. Um, we are also trying to uh, you know, expand our organization within the working class and uh, the peace and areas that we have been stronger most. And we are hoping that um, winning seats in those areas that uh, we have um, you know, a bigger support base will be able to lessen or um, make the life of the poor people more bearable as we actively you know uh, organize and expand the party in readiness for you know for a new offensive for a new revolutionary process and of course to the ultimate um, victory that we all look for which is uh, you know the toppling of the the bourgeoisie and uh, you know installing a government for the people and for the workers Thank you.